Hello, I'll be covering the vertex painting mass material. It's a complicated process if you wish to utilize nanite painting, but the end results make this all worth it. A couple things to do off the start is to enable nanite tessellation in your project's configuration folder. Paste these command lines under the render settings and save. You can find these codes in the description. Once you're back on the editor, disable Nanite on all the meshes you wish to paint. Make new copies of the original to avoid breaking the vertex colors on the previous model and rename it. You can give it names such as Room 1, Room 2, or more specific names such as Lobby, Classroom, Hall, or anything that suits your environment. Once you have that, start building out your room. Once you have the final result, merge it into a new mesh. Again, make sure to keep Nanite off for now and only merge the walls with the walls and the floor with the floor. Do not merge the two together to avoid complications. Once you've merged your mesh, you can start painting. You can open the material instance and edit the materials and textures as you wish. Everything can be changed and adjusted. It does utilize height map blending, so if you have bricks, Moss will cover the crevices first before the bricks, and the intensity can be adjusted too. Once you're finished painting, make sure to save the vertex colors to the mesh itself. Without this, the vertex painting materials will not show up on the nanite mesh. Once you have your final results and have applied the painted vertexes, enable nanite on the static mesh. This will displace the material. If nothing happens, open the master material and make sure tessellation is enabled on the master material. This will be off by default.